Man United won West Ham nil. Blue and bubbles wear. This is our house. Man United are bubble bursters. Man like David sh sh should have known better. We ran that man down years ago. How many times has he won his what bubble man? burst round here? The nerve of these West Ham fans singing like they did something. Don't they know that my team feel no way to ruin their own fans this weekend? What on earth made them think that they care about this? Temporary top four secured, baby. And it's nice being here again. I forgot what it felt like. I was concerned we'd never see it again this season. But today was a sign that there is hope. Top four is in sight and this was a performance to build on. 90 minutes. I was fully engaged for 90 minutes. Dare I say it, I was enjoying the performance. We controlled this game like a remote. I was impressed with many aspects of our game. Now, we didn't create many chances, but that is a stiff defense. They don't call them the irons for no reason. It takes time to break down iron. I saw some people panicking. I saw the keyboard warriors tweeting, talking their doo-doo, looking for a reaction. But I could sense a goal was coming, so I stayed calm. I stayed quiet. I could see Ralph's brain ticking, thinking of a solution to try and break through the stiff defense. I could see him thinking about all those keyboard warriors tweeting their nonsense, and even all the players with their nonsense apology tweets. And then it hit him. Man used the keyboard warrior tactic. The old control alt delete routine. We had control, he altered the lineup and then deleted all hope for West Ham with a last second winner. And it was the three subs that combined to score it. My boy Martial. Anyone that booed my guy AM9 when he came on, and I mean this with all due disrespect. You're a pagan, and I hope that you break three toes on your way to work. Slap yourself immediately, thank you please. Martial looked on it when he came on. He held the ball nicely and laid it onto Cavani. VAR not necessary, he was onside because we needed that. And unselfish as always, he squared it for Rashid to score his second goal in two games. And you saw the weight lift off him in his celebration. Last kick of the game, big, big win. Double R is starting to stamp his identity onto this team. That was the first time that I've seen sustained aggression for 90 minutes, pressing for 90 minutes, releasing the ball quickly for 90 minutes, positive shape and intent for 90 minutes. We just need to create more clear chances and I'm still worried about set pieces a little. But this was definitely a performance to build on. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that Marcus Rashford is banging as a super sub. I've been saying this for a while. Rashford from the start is a problem to United. Rashford in the last 20 is a problem to our ops. All of his goals this season has come as a sub and he has now officially scored more goals in the 90th minute than any other United. United player in history. He has scored in back-to-back -back games as a sub. He is a super sub. Rashford is heir to Ali. This is the ultimate homage. Man worked his way out of first team football as the ultimate show of loyalty. This is why he was really knighted. He is Oli Ball for life. That means he plays for moments and the habit of 90th minute winners makes him a clutch moments player. Off to the bench with Sir Marcus. There he shall dwell until such time as a goal of is needed. Diogo Dallo, my man of the match, he clearly learned something in Italy. You can't have met with Maldini and not learn something. Oli has blood on his hands for subjecting us to a spider infestation when Dallo had these performances in him. I am amazed at how good he has become defensively. I have shouted him out in the last few games and he was exceptional again today. Woo, he is such an outlet going the other way. And his feet actually work. He does step overs on purpose, not because his feet got tangled. He controls the ball on purpose, not tries to tackle it. He passes the ball on purpose, not just kicks it in someone's general direction. I'm liking the development of Diogo. And another young baller whose development I'm liking. River is a dancer, Anthony Alanga, try and stop him if you dare, came from Scandinavia to be United Saviour, scoring goals from everywhere, oh, it's Elanga. he really wants that spot in it, he is getting the nod and it ain't cause the manager's trying to prove a point, Elanga is on stuff, he's so rapid, and he has a mad engine and a willingness to work, he ain't just a runner though, the boy has techers, you see the way he tried to control the half volley effort, Oof. Exciting stuffs. An attacking left sided forward named Anthony. You know I have to be a fan. Hashtag 3am9. I have to give some other shout outs to, especially to these players because I'm onto them more time. Slab had he won. Now I'm never going to pretend that I'm a fan or that I ever want to see him play for us again. However, he was outstanding against West Ham. He won everything in the air. He won most things on the ground and he brought the ball out differently. He wasn't perfect, but he put in a real shift. And McFruno was excellent. It must be so long to play against Fred. He covers so much ground and so quickly. And under Ralph, he seemed to have found some creativity and ability. I'm seeing this guy almost look Brazilian. Man ain't looking like Fred the Dead right now. I like it. I like it a lot. McTominay has slightly been putting in some solid performances and he is getting confident carrying the ball 2-2 two -two composure I'll see you shining eh you can't accuse him of hiding anymore and that's been made easier by Ralph dropping Bruno back to be a third midfielder and he has been much better there for me it's like he had to drop back 10 yards to understand what it feels like for midfielders when players in front of them lose the ball for no reason he seems to have a newfound respect for the ball long may that continue Woo! I enjoyed the performance and I have to give West Ham their dues too. They were defensive as anything but they broke well on a few occasions and they had a few good performers but Declan was the standout for me. I rate this guy so highly and he plays like that every game. That's why Rice costs peace. West Ham need to stop jerking around with the price of cup beef or stew. 80 to 100 million. Nah, we're not have that. The English tax is too high. So on this occasion, we're going to have to say no, thank you, please. Anyway, forget West Ham. Come on, United. Thank you, please.